In this video, we focus on the process approach and risk-based thinking competency in the IETF Auditor Guide, and in particular, the auditing of quality objectives. Watch this video to see if the auditor is undertaking an effective audit. So I saw from your high-level dashboard that you measure people productivity yes. in production. Yes, we do. Can you give me an overview about how you collect and report that data on a daily basis? Yes, we report them into our sheets and uh, the sheets are reported into our ERP system, what we have here. Right, okay. And then we have some smart Excels that are helping to collect that data from uh, the ERP system and we are presenting them in, in a such way, in a graph way. And every morning we go through them, see what happened yesterday, what happened uh, maybe the day before and uh, were there any problems, how did we solve them, did we solve okay. them already and etc. So I'd like to take a couple of examples. Can you explain the, what's the difference between the green and the yellow? So the yellow uh, column represents how much time we used to produce the parts. Yeah. And the green column is how many hours we should have been using to produce the parts according to our ERP system and our structure. Okay, so maybe let's take that one as actually an example then that it okay. was planned for 4.3 hours, yes. but it took 7.4 hours. Yes, that's What correct. was the specific reason for that? Actually, um, I'm not so sure. I have to call my uh, shift leader. Oh, by all means, yeah. That, yeah. that, that okay. would be great if he, if he can provide that information. Do you want to call him? Yes, yes, I do. His name is Garfield, and I hope he can help us too explain everything. Yeah, if he's available, that will be great, because we're going to see him later in the audit anyway. Okay. 4.8 target, 5.8. Oh, no problem. Oh, ah, hello. Yeah, good morning. Hello. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I've seen you somewhere before. I don't think so. Did Actually, you no, used you, to be an IETF auditor? I, I did used to do some auditing. Uh, that might be it, because, yeah, I think we met in... I can't remember exactly, but... No, I, but, I yeah. don't recognise your face. So you're, what's your role here I'm now? shift leader, so... Right. Um, he's my boss, and I'm the shift right. leader, um, and I've just got a call to come here. Yeah, so Garfield, what we're trying to do is look at the way that you measure your productivity, people productivity. Yeah. And we've got this issue here where the plan was 4.3 hours, and it actually took 7.4. Yeah. And this is for yesterday. Yeah. What was the reason for that? Yeah, that, that was, um, that's machine 162. Do you remember we, we ah, talked yes. about this? There was an issue with the robot. 162. Oh, okay, now I remember. Yeah, we had an issue with the robot. Uh, right. There was a problem with the vacuum suction. Yeah. And uh, the robot dropped almost every second part. So that explains how, why we had almost 60% of uh, efficiency there. And, and that I would also affect that. quality, I guess. The, the, yes. Yeah. What happens with the drop part? Is that Unfortunately, we scrap? have to scrap immediately. Yeah. Right. So is that, is that machine running today, the 162? Yeah, it is. Right. So maybe when we finish this discussion then, that we will sure. follow that trail. Uh, if you can join us for that, that yeah. would be great. Yeah. OK, yeah. I've got a note of that. And this issue, which machine was this. So this was 4.8 target, mm -hmm. 5.8. Yeah. Which machine number that was that? That was 134. 134. OK, so again, when we've seen the 162, we'll yeah. go to the 134 machine. Yeah. What was the problem on that one? Um, I think it was something with the tool, if I remember yes, correct. that's right. Yeah. Right. We had uh, some uh, small flashes there, so we had to adjust the tool yeah. on the right. machine. Okay, so 162 then 134. Okay. So let's summarize. Firstly, there is the need to audit the cascade of quality objectives from the top management of the organization into the relevant processes. In this audit, the auditor was questioning the source of the data, was taking nothing for granted. And also the auditor was involving the relevant people to follow the audit trails. 
starting with the production manager and then when needed bringing in the production team leader to provide additional information related to the shortfall in performance against the key performance indicator. And again, as in previous audits, the really important thing is that the auditor collects the information and then uses that information related to the quality objectives to follow audit trails within the rest of the audit. So let's summarise with the key learning point. A key part of any IETF 16949 audit is to audit the cascade of objectives from the top management within the organisation to the relevant processes and challenge the process owner on how the data is collected and then once the data is collected, follow the audit trails, particularly focusing on where targets have not been met.